All right, so the next guy who's going to come up is a strong man, and his name's Eric Moss, a uh, guy from New Jersey, wonderful guy. Uh, he and I got a chance to perform together. I invited him. I happened to be touring through that area and got a chance to sort of help him early in his very his professional star career. And um, Eric's a very cool dude. And uh, runs a gym up there, uh, wonderful guy, uh, very strong. Uh, again, and you're going to see a lot of different body types. You're gonna, in, a, in a few minutes, you're going to see some real monsters who are one or two of them dudes make me look little. But Eric's not a big guy, but he's going to do a very cool feat. He's actually going to bend a steel bar across the bridge of his nose. It was a very special feat. And he also did this with a migraine this week. And, like, man, that's kind of, which is pretty freaking crazy. Um, yeah. So it's a very cool thing. And I want you to watch Eric and, and all, you know, and, and all of our people are here to, to push. Listen, donate to Noah's Army, become a blood donor, become an organ donor. And, and thanks everybody for mentioning those things and stuff like that or whatever. And they're here to entertain you, but that, that's. We're here to stay on point for that particular purpose as well. So let's watch Eric, and we're going to have a good time. Greetings. My name is Eric Moss, and I'm a modern-day performing strongman based out of northern New Jersey. I've been a protege of Hercules Chris Ryder, and I was the last student of New Jersey Superman, the late Greg Vitonic. Greg had taught me a particular feat that he thought was the epitome of everything it meant to be a strongman of mind over matter. And this particular feat happened to be bending a steel bar on a bridge of my nose. Now, instead of just doing a regular steel bar, what I plan on doing is bending this piece of reinforcing steel on the bridge of my nose. And I am doing this today to honor Noah Jeffries. Noah Jeffries was Bud Jeffries' son. Bud Jeffries is a modern day performing strongman and he's one of the more active ones. <clears throat> and tragically, Noah was killed at the young age of 21 when he was in a motorcycle accident. Had he not been on that motorcycle, um, he would have gone on to be, be the one to destroy us all. He had done many amazing things in the world of strength prior to that fateful day. So it's an honor for me to be able to do this to honor his memory. And his foundation, the Noah's Army Foundation, runs fundraisers to help raise money for first responders, active duty veterans, um, women in domestic abuse situations, children with terminal illnesses, many, many, many worthy causes. So if you get the opportunity to, I urge you to try donating to them. So without further ado, reinforcing steel bar on the bridge of my nose, using just this shop rag for protection. Finish this in Mighty Adam style. <clears throat> so, I thank you for watching, and I urge you once again, please donate to the Noah's Army Foundation. Eric Moss, over and out. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Eric, for such an amazing thing and for doing that in a tough, I know you had a tough week, brother. And uh, But again, that's the theme here, man. We're getting it done no matter what. We never quit, ever. And, dude, you're such a phenomenal guy, such a nice guy. And that Ben, people, listen, I'm trying, one of the things I wanted to do for this whole broadcast is make people understand the toughness of, like, the steel that David just bent, what Christopher did with that two, that one arm over to get up. Like, these guys are doing world-class phenomenal feats. And rebar especially is an unpredictable steel. You never know what it's going to be like. You never know how hard it's going to be. And that bend on the bridge of the nose is no joke, Okay. Like, if you don't understand, take your finger and poke yourself. <laughs> it's a ton of pressure and super tough, especially for somebody to tough it out with a migraine. And, man, we so appreciate that. Thank you so much for your piece, Eric. 